G'day, Anthony Albanese here. I'm Labor's Shadow Minister for Infrastructure, Transport and Cities. And today I've been in Sydney with Bill Shorten, the Labor leader, making two important infrastructure announcements. The first was with Matt Thistlethwaite, our candidate for Kingsford Smith and uh, a key member of our team. And we announced at Port Botany uh, the $175 million that's required funding for the Australian Rail Track Corporation to finish off the upgrade of the Port Botany rail freight system. Uh, in government, we funded the Southern Sydney Freight Line. That cost more than a billion dollars. And there was a missing link though, the two point eight kilometres of rail line uh, between Mascot and the port at Botany. What that meant essentially, it was a bit like having a one-way road with two-way traffic. If a rail, uh, if a train was coming into Port Botany along the system, uh, one couldn't go out until the train uh, was in and, and off the tracks, out of the way. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. And this final completion is, if you like, the final piece in the Port Botany Rail Freight Jigsaw. What that will see is a boost to productivity and assistance to our exporters that's so important for our national economy. But it will also be a big benefit to people throughout Sydney because together with the rail uh, loop line that will be put in at Warwick Farm uh, to perform a similar task so that uh, it can increase the capacity of the rail freight line. That will mean, uh, with the development of the Moorbank Intermodal Terminal, that there'll be 300,000 trucks taken off Sydney's road. So, good for productivity, good for jobs, including in construction while this is occurring, but importantly, good for every Sydney road user uh, between the port at Botany, but also right through to southwestern Sydney. So a great project that's been welcomed uh, by the Australian Logistics Council, uh, by the operators in the logistics and freight sector at Port Botany. Uh, it has been a part of a priority project uh, for the Australian Rail Track Corporation and it will make such a big difference. An exciting uh, project and it was great to be there with the workforce uh, this morning uh, and to engage with them uh, with uh, Bill and with Matt. Uh, this afternoon I've just been with Bill Shorten out at Appham Way with Mike Freelander, our candidate uh, for the MacArthur electorate and we announced 50 million dollars to upgrade, to basically duplicate, widen the uh, Appen Road. Appen Road is the main thoroughfare between the MacArthur region, between Campbelltown and the Illawarra at Wollongong. And uh, over recent years, the last two decades, have seen uh, more than 40 deaths or serious injuries as a result of accidents on that road. It had been identified by the NRMA as one of the absolute priorities uh, for the New South Wales road system uh, fi being fixed up. So really important in terms of improving road safety. Uh, but more than that, it's on the big development corridor. There'll be 35,000 uh, new extra uh, dwellings built there over coming years. So the land holders uh, that include uh, Ingham's uh, includes uh, Walker Corporation, Lendlease. Uh, they, of course, uh, will be asked to make a contribution as well, as well as the state government. But a great project that will uh, create jobs in the short term, uh, reduce the commute times between uh, the Illawarra and the MacArthur region, uh, but importantly will facilitate uh, what will be uh, tens of thousands of jobs in terms of construction, uh, building uh, those new developments and uh, adding to uh, Sydney uh, residents between uh, Campbelltown and the MacArthur region. So these two projects, uh, 
one rail freight uh, in uh, the heart of, of, of Sydney there at Port Botany will make a, such a big difference to people in, uh, in the Mascot region and uh, all around uh, Matraville and right around the port but also right in the corridor to uh, southwestern Sydney uh, but importantly as well uh, the Appen Road project will improve road safety. So it's been a good day for infrastructure for Sydney as far as Labor's commitments and it's consistent with our approach to nation building. Uh, yesterday uh, we promised uh, $500 million for the Adelaide uh, Adelink project which aims to uh, extend the light rail network uh, throughout Adelaide. Uh, we want to see uh, urban uh, congestion uh, addressed and address to deal with urban congestion uh, the best thing that you can do is to deal with uh, passenger rail and also with freight rail and we're doing that uh, right around the country consistent with what we did when we were last in office when we were last in office uh, we reduced through our investment in the Australian Rail Track Corporation the travel time in terms of freight from Melbourne to Brisbane by six hours and the investment across the coast from east to west coast by nine hours. Uh, we rebuilt or built new more than 4,000 kilometres of rail track during our six years in office, which is, I believe, a substantial achievement. And when it comes to public transport, of course, uh, we invested more in urban public transport than all previous governments combined from Federation uh, right through to 2007 when we were elected. So if we're given the opportunity to govern again after the 2nd of July, uh, I'm very confident that we'll have a program to deal with urban congestion and rail is the key to that. Been great uh, talking to you and thanks for joining us.